So I'm a surgeon. I had two young female patients, Tala, who was 16, Lama, who was 18, both of whom had survivable injuries, both of whom died last week as a direct result of malnutrition. I've just returned from Gaza for my my second trip there since October the 7th. I came out of Rafa, one of the last people to leave on Monday. Well, what I saw over the last two weeks, the first thing I'd like to highlight really is the direct targeting of healthcare workers. We know about this. We know that the hundreds that have been killed and also hundreds that have been abducted. I met two young healthcare workers who I knew and spent a considerable time with them last week. One young doctor, one young nurse both of whom had been abducted. One of them kept in captivity for 45 days, the other one for 60 days, giving me very graphic and stark descriptions of their daily torture at the hands of the Israeli Defence Force. And we, of course, we know there are many, many other examples like this, but hearing it from those individuals themselves was extremely harrowing. And I think uh, there will be many other stories like that. Over Christmas and New Year, I spent the whole two weeks operating all the time on major explosive injuries to the abdomen and to the chest and it was really non-stop but the very strong narrative of the patients I was treating over the last two weeks were those with terrible infective complications as a direct result of malnutrition and this was very stark indeed and I operated on many patients in the last two weeks who had awful complications from their abdominal surgery related to inadequate nutrition and particularly those with abdominal wall breaking down, so literally their intestines end up hanging outside, and the intestinal repairs that have been carried out to deal with the damage to the bowels leaking, so their bowel contents leaking out from different parts of the abdomen, covering their bodies, covering their beds. The lack of resources to deal with these inadequate numbers of colostomy bags, wound management devices and nutritional support. And they get this vicious cycle of malnutrition, infection, wounds breaking down, more infection, more malnutrition. So devastating, and we will see far more of that over coming months.